Hello, hello guys. Once again, welcome to Samaritia Farms. And as you guys know, last week my farm got burned. Yes, I was at home in the village and my farm manager called me to rush and come. I drove all the way there and to my surprise, all my 11 acres farm that I have planted brachyria grass to actually feed my livestock with. In case you're new to this channel and you don't know the story behind brachyria grass, it is a very nutritious um, grass just like our normal grass that you see but it's very drought resistant it has almost 18 percent protein when dried into hay and over the past two years i've been growing it from one acre to five acres and now to 11 acres where i use it to feed my cattle my goats and you know any livestock that i bring into the farm the reason is that i don't want my livestock to be going around feeding in people's farm or even just walking randomly there are so many disadvantages to it and i believe that in africa if we really want to succeed and be able to grow our livestock farming just like when you go to the western world you can see somebody with 80,000, 50,000 cows there is no way we can do that or achieve that goal by allowing our livestock just roaming and grazing around and therefore that was that was my whole plan and idea about you know importing this grass into africa and really starting to grow it so that i can feed my my livestock with it but unfortunately last week as i said and you guys watched the video um i went to the farm and my whole grass farm was burned thank you guys so much for the support i mean it's a, it's, it's crazy guys like how much messages i got phone calls and everything and you guys really pushed me through because for the first three days i was i, I was sad guys like it was it was a hit because i felt like my dreams were coming to an end you know because there was no way i was gonna do livestock if i don't have feed and i know i've told most of you um you know about it i've given most of you an advice of before you buy even a livestock make sure you have feed already grown or, or stored before so it was it was it was a hit but through you guys your comments your text messages i mean so many people called me so many people just to you know say sorry just to encourage me and it really meant a lot to me so i want to say a big thank you to all of you and the, and the kind of kindness that you guys showed to me i don't wish it for it to happen to anyone but today i want to give you guys an update on what has happened ever since um the farm got burned so it i think it happened on a saturday and then on a sunday i actually went to see the chiefs and told them about what have happened also told them about um you know the elders about you know this guy and what he's been doing at my farm and you know what the other said was to hold on you know for them to invite the guy and talk to him so i was like okay i'm gonna do that and then my next step was to go to the police station and report it to the police so i i i i i did that came back home but unfortunately i had to come to accra so i drove on sunday night and came back to accra and then on monday on Monday morning, yeah, my mom called me and said a woman came to, to, to the house and said that she is behind um, the farm that got burnt. An old woman in, in her late 50s, early 60s, um, yeah, that he had a laborer who she took to her farm to burn her farm, her small farm, I don't know, maybe 20 by 20 feet and left the laborer and when the laborer put the fire in her farm the laborer started the fire right at the border of my farm and her farm so the laborer also put the fire at the border hoping it will burn forward and left and the farm didn't burn forward it rather burned backwards so it burned backwards into my farm that is why when you look around the farm there was nothing that was burned it looks like it was my farm right so it burned backwards i think what they should have done is to check the direction of the wind 
before setting the fire and i don't even know why you put fire on your land and leave it without staying there to make sure that it's burning right it didn't make sense i mean it, it didn't like la you know just last weekend i went back there um i tried to do this video from the farm but unfortunately um i had a very bad audio and that's why i decided to come home and just give you guys this update but as you can see like i went from the i went to the farm and it didn't make sense like why would somebody put fire in their farm and all of a sudden just leave but it also in a way it's, it's all red guys it's all red i feel like it was just supposed to happen right whether it was intentional whether it wasn't intentional um what i asked myself it's happened what can i do right this woman has come forward therefore i cannot have anybody arrested for it so it's a tricky matter but i guess me being me and and having a positive thinking i'm asking myself am i supposed to learn something from this right is this what what stage are we you know what am i supposed to figure out and um yeah and that's what what is what is sort of i'm processing what do i need to learn from it and i know most of you um did recommended me having cct cameras and so on um just to give you a bit of a context this is a land that is very far away from from the community um i have no building on it it's basically for 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 folder i just wanted to have it as an animal feed lot you know so there's no electricity there's no building on it if i really want to put a camera there i need a source of power i need somebody to actually be there um yeah i need source of power which is basically the solar or the chamfer machine to be able to connect and have it on 24 7 recording right it's very different if the land is in um in in, a, in, in my main farm where i have light right unless i get some sort of solar powered cameras right to be able to use so that is something that i'm going to look into it um but i i i, I don't know i feel like i, I want to create a bit of fence but that is not the best way to do it um yeah but that that that, that is the update but as you guys can see when i was there just yesterday the farm was doing great the grass has grown very well it's actually ready to be harvested guys it's it's amazing i feel like in two weeks time i'll be able to harvest it because you know it just started raining the moment this happened so it's going very well i'm very surprised i mean i told the team when it happened that maybe the the the, the grass needs you know uh resurrection or something you know and they were all laughing at me that i just want them to be calm that's why i'm saying that but if i look at the grass now it's doing amazing guys i'm very surprised i mean brachyra grass i know it resists drought but i didn't know it was resistant to fire as well um so i'm, I'm very happy yes it got us a little bit delayed but as you can see from the results it's looking great so i'm thankful i'm grateful but we need to learn from this and i just shared it with you guys so that you guys can know that anything can happen guys it, it's just, it is what life is you know people die you lose properties you know things happen to you that is life but i want to say a big thank you to you for for the support for the encouragement for the kind words that you guys shared with me um i was very very pleased but it's not stopping me i have so much to do um this year as i said i want to really innovate i want to do irrigation i want to do very massively um you know fish farming i also want to increase uh, my livestock because i'm planting a whole hundred acres of brachyra grass so that i'll have enough feed next year so goat farming is something i'm really looking into um i'm also thinking about traveling to east africa hopefully very soon to go and look um and study more about goat farming and livestock farming so there is a lot that i want to do and i'm this is not gonna stop us 
I have a lot of videos coming you guys your way about everything that I'm doing updates on the on the poultry farm yeah so so thank you guys so much once again and I appreciate all the comments but I felt like you guys were so into it with me that I need to share this um, update with you guys as well so thank you so much and I will see you again with another video